Welcome back, everyone. What a week we had last week. Up and down, volatility everywhere, and good news, it is over. We are done. We're officially done. I, I got to tell you, I made a ton of moves yesterday, but old Jay Powell and his crew, they get a, they're going to get an invitation to Thanksgiving dinner. I might even send them a Christmas card. You know, I, I thought about it. I, my kids asked me what I wanted for Christmas there, this year. I said, you know, it'd be pretty cool to have an, a, a Jerome Powell autograph sitting behind us right here because, well, we know how much he controls the stock market. It's absolutely insane. You could see his comments moving the markets yesterday, and we're going to dig into it because I it's one of the biggest days I have had in my portfolio. I, I think it may have been my second or third biggest day this year so far it was monstrous money flowing in so hopefully you were making a lot of money too if you were let me know what was making it for you i can tell you my number one gainer was the ethereum position massive money being made on that unbelievable now uh we're gonna go over some some of the you guys know i like sharing some of the trade wins it's the weekend let's talk about it we'll go ahead, we'll get into the fact that it is now over the fed has come out and said jerome powell said they are going to cut rates now it is now time so now it's a question of is it 25 basis points is it 50 basis points and what happens to the stock market, the economy, and everything else? All right, first link. Click this first link right here. If you click that, you will bring you to here if you'd like to join my Discord because I am loading up on Monday. I sold almost every single option I had, and I am ready for Monday. I'm, I'm talking blue-collar options, white-collar options. I have a little teeny bit left, but I am just, we cleaned house, and it was a monster day to do it way up overall for the day and i love days like that so it, it was a good way to get healthy quick and i know a lot of people did so if you haven't done it save 15 percent. you can join right here and premium or higher get you access to all the bots and everything else and if you want the white collar options you do royalty so now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the winners i just got back i gotta tell you i just got back i'll leave my little little corner down here you guys can see me I had to move in my kids to college today. My oldest, obviously, is in the Discord with me. He has his MBA. He's, he is now a company man with me. And, uh, but the other two I have, they're out there going to school and doing their things. And, and I had to move them in. So, you know, empty nest syndrome here, man. I don't know about you guys, but it is part of life, I guess. Uh, now, here we go. I love seeing some of these. 105% up on the, the SoFi. Love SoFi. This is more representative of what you can expect trading options and people ask me all the time i'm going to be doing a video for my discord members just so you guys know on my strategy and everything else i know you guys have been asking for it we'll put her in there but this is more or less what you would expect massive wins right and then you get a you get the stop you get stopped out so you try to minimize your stops and maximize the winners and in doing that look what can happen over the past month, you're up 31.62. That's a huge amount of money to gain in a single month. And, uh, you know, and that each person's going to be a little bit different depending on what you got into and all that good stuff. Uh, they can't all, but a win is a win. I agree. And you can see a lot of the plays going up. Red Recipe doing its thing. And, of course, uh, I always like seeing the 200% up. Man, I love it. That's my hey, that's one of mine. The Ford call. I love the Ford call. And everybody plays their own plays and stuff like that. But I I gotta tell you, PayPal, 282% up. Man, I love that one too. There are so many different plays out here. Some of the ones I threw out there um, today. The IWM uh, was now up 900 bucks. That's my white collar option. Ford up 296, hood up 397, 118, 178, 174. Man, we were killing it. We were killing it, I should say, yesterday. Uh, yeah, we did some good stuff. We did some good stuff. But the, the key of the matter is, well, what's Jay Powell going to do from here? And we can come over here, take a look. And the first thing, because it's over. He's done raising rates. He's no longer going to hold them steady. It's a question of, uh, it's Wall Street, and we'll say the, the economy's biggest not secret, if you will, that he's going to cut rates in September. We've all been calling for it. And it's funny because I'll still see news articles out there 
of and they're like our our chief investing officer and this and all these big names they give each other on wall street and it's just a joke it's a joke you know give yourself a big name and all of a sudden you're an expert and they they they're like hey they're not going to cut rates in september it's not going to happen and and when september comes and obviously we're almost there and they cut rates which we know they're going to the, they'll just pretend they never said it. Oh, well, that's not what I said. I, I just said that most likely they were not. And, you know, and it's like, oh, my gosh, come on. All righty. But the truth of the matter is Wall Street's pricing in a rate cut. And if they only cut 25 basis points, will TMF get hit a little bit or will it run? And that's still yet to be seen. And, of course, I don't have an answer for you. If they're pricing in possibly two, it could see a little bit of a hit. I don't know. They they are already pricing a full cut. What I'm looking at is more out to December right now. Because December will be here with, you know, you, you know, when you get to September, it's like boom, boom, boom. It's December. We're here. It's Christmas. Let's go. And what you see now is a basically a 65% chance that we'll have – 100 basis points worth of cuts, which means somewhere we would have to have a 50 basis point cut or, you know, intermeeting cut where they have another cut in between meetings because things sour because they only have a meeting every six weeks. You, you just never know. You never know. And, and if it goes south quickly, I'm telling you, TMF, oh, TMF, you will run. I think right now everybody is still saying the Fed's going to do three cuts this year 25 i think everybody's thinking the same thing even though the market's kind of priced it in four they're thinking 25 basis points 25 basis point 25 basis point there's a few things you need to keep in mind with the stock market the economy all of it just because they're going to do the rate cut doesn't mean the effect of the rate cut really kicks in right away in other words the damage being done from the the real interest rate is what i call it uh, the current rate of inflation minus what the Fed have that, you know, the, the lower the inflation goes, the more the damage of the Fed being higher up and staying there longer it really kicks in. And that's one of the things you, you got to watch for. And so as interest as inflation comes down, it's incredibly uh, dangerous to keep the rates up from the Fed. And I, I did a few videos and I always say, um, is the Fed going to crash the market? Is the Fed going to crash the economy? Yeah, I, I should have just named them. Is the Fed going to make unemployment skyrocket? And are they going to do this to break the back of housing? Uh, we don't know. Housing's what's causing the majority of inflation right now. And if they take away housing, they already got it under 2%. But they don't, they can't take away housing. So it's over 2%. So did you hear what I just said? If we could strip out housing, the Fed already succeeded. Unfortunately, they did not beat housing. Housing's tough to beat right now. All right, uh, look what we did. Russell, 3.19. Did you guys see what I showed you here? I sh show you this? Let me see if we can find that again. Right there. This is the Russell. That's a 920 call. I had 206. I really like this one. I put this in the white collar options. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive, almost 700 for one contract. Uh, but I liked it. Look at this. The Russell up 3.19%. Rough week, though. Look at this. It's not like it's all up. It goes up, down it goes. Goes up, down it goes. Goes way up. And that was the good news. So over the last month, eh, you can say, down it goes, up it goes. Uh, we've been saying over the last month that now's the time to get into small cap, if you're looking at small cap. It's been lagging. I told, and people ask me about this, I said, if you go from right now, and it was like the beginning of August, and I said, you go out to the end of the year, basically you're going to have the Russell most likely outperform the NASDAQ. And if you go out 12 months to 24 months, I really believe, probably 12 months, that they, the Russell is going to outperform the NASDAQ and the S&P and all of them because it's lagged and when small caps get hit hard on quantitative tightening. Now we're going into quantitative easing, which is the opposite of what we've been doing and so i like this when i even bought options i don't buy options on on much unless i really feel good about it the charts are lined up and that leads us into this all right so tmf you guys we're going to talk about a couple of them we'll look at tmf real quick just to give everybody a quick update who are in there with me if you're in there let me know uh we did confirm kind of confirmed above 
the latest line of 58.98. Then we push back down and we hit the 13. Back up we go. So I'm hoping next week to confirm back above 58.98. If we do, I feel like we're going in the right direction. This is a get rich slow with mo method. And uh, as I mess with the computer here, uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm going to continue to watch this. Remember, I've been saying this since we were in the 30s that once we hit and the first rate cut, give it 12 to 24 months, we'll be over $100 a pop. That's been my price target. That's how I've been trading it. I'm just patient. And I continue to do what I want to do for this one. Uh, IWM I wanted to throw up there, though. That's the Russell. There is a few things I've been watching. And we had the carry, on, the carry trade unwinding right here. It was almost like the ultimate opportunity for anybody who wanted to get in. And if you had the intestinal fortitude to get in there at that point, 197, we're now up to 220, or up 10% in a matter of three weeks. So it really gave everybody a good shot to make some money. And up we go, the five crosses over the 50 and the 13, and you get the signal. And the signal sometimes can take a few days, and it did, and up it goes. So we're continuing to move up. Uh, we're going to retest 221, what are we at, 221.80, and I think we'll easily go through there. And what I think is going to happen is we're going to get in this zone right here and probably consolidate a little bit. And as you can see, we did the same thing last time, but we will get into this zone. And then, of course, will we retest 228.64? Um, I'm not sure. I think so. I'm bullish on the market. I'm still bullish on where we're at. I don't think we're in a, a time where things are going to crash. But I am a little nervous, just to warn everyone. It is over. The Fed is done raising rates. They're done holding rates. They're going to start cutting. Many of the recessions start after the Fed starts cutting rates, which is insane. I know what you're thinking. Why would they start then? They're cutting rates. Things are supposed to be better. They're not. And for some reason, the Fed usually cuts. Think about it this way. The Fed's going to start cutting now, and inflation is at 2.9%. I think it's 2.9. Am I correct on this? 2.9, but they're going to cut it, and they're a full, almost a full percent away from their target. If they're going to start cutting, why? Why would they start cutting? And I've already been saying this for six months. The real danger isn't the inflation. The real danger is employment levels, and we're seeing them get the payrolls got, woo, 800,000 downward revised. It was crazy, and you're going to continue to see bad things happening with employment numbers. I'm, I'm hearing it in the news. You're seeing it on the wires. Things are getting hard out there. If you see people getting hired or are they getting laid off, is it starting to affect your jobs? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, the goal is we're going to try to make as much money as we can as we go forward with the Fed cuts coming in, and we're going to do the best we can. I shared some of my plays today, as you just saw in the trade wins. I still have some of those plays. Now we talk about that. Um, yeah, come on over. Check it out. Uh, it's a couple of things here to finish up. If you have not done it, like I said, click that first link down below. Join us today. Save 15% right here. Uh, that's an annual pass. So if you just want to pay monthly, do that. So, uh, get your free stocks from Moomoo too. This is huge. Put in 100 bucks using that second link right here. Take advantage before the end of August. Uh, put 100 bucks in, get eight free stocks, put 1,000, get 20, and 8.1% APY on your money. Where else can you get 8.1% risk-free on your money for three months? You can't. I don't even know if you can. Maybe you can, but I, I don't know anywhere. This is the highest I know. And the third thing, we brought it back. Uh, join my course, only for a limited amount of time. Uh, get in before the code expires. This is code cash, the third link. You can join my course now. C-A-S-H, join it, save 300 off of this, lifetime access to it, and lifetime access to the Discord for the course. Not my trading Discord, that's totally separate. That's not the same thing, uh, but we do have a learning Discord to help people along the way, and that's this one in here with this course overall. So you can take advantage of that code cash. All right, family. Let me know what you'd like to see moving forward in terms of stocks reviewed. I'm going to be doing a best stocks to buy now here shortly. And I'm pumped, man. It's been a good week. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you over the Discord.